everybody, Ruck Dog here. Action stations. Got another World of Warships video for you here. Today I am in my Tier 9 Premium Japanese Battleship, the Musashi, which of course is the sister ship to the Yamato class, or you know, the Yamato, which is the tech tree ship. You can see her there in all of her uh, spruce uh, tree glory there, using my Christmas camo supply up. Now, this is my first experience with the Yamato Musashi type battleship. I mean, I've obviously played against them a lot, but I've not gotten that far up the tech tree on the Japanese battleship side to be able to get myself into the Yamato. So, when I jumped into the Musashi a while back, that was my first experience with a Yamato class battleship. And I gotta say, it's been an interesting ship to try out. Uh, of course, having been no stranger to the Tier 9, Tier 10 battleship meta, I, th I feel like I've been able to more or less jump into this ship without too much trouble. Um, but it's been fun to see how differently the guns work and everything else. Alright, so obviously here on our Islands of Ice map we've got all kinds of interesting tactical possibilities, but usually BC is sort of the preferred way here. Oh, come on. This Montana's not watching where he's going. Hey there, bud, wake up. Um, in front of you. Yeah. Oh, well, it's a random match. What are you going to do? <laughs> Folks have a tendency not to pay attention even during the best of times. Alrighty, who do we have here? Turpits, ah, perfect. Alright, here we go. Uh, there we go. I was worried about hitting that Montana. <laughs> of course, I was able to get my shots out. Uh, let's see how we're doing here. Uh, might get a hit or two. Ah, no such luck. Ah, we have a DD to shoot at too. Interesting. Having played the American battleships with their 16-inch guns, this is not normally a target I would think that I would want to shoot at with AP from a battle on situation, but given how much more oomph the 18-inchers on the Masashi has, this is actually a reasonable thing for me to do is to shoot at this guy. There we go. Alright, well, I am all of a sudden not so enthusiastic about going to sea. Uh, because it looks like all of our destroyer support has bailed. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the rudder over here. It looks like Montana's got the same idea. No sense running to uh, a torpedo-y uh, death down at sea if we can avoid it. I have no idea where this Montana is going. Put on the brakes. Sound the danger signal. <laughs> Five short blasts for those of you that don't know the rules of the road. And still, this turp man, this turpitz is just yoloing this cap. Let's see if we can punish him a little bit here. I, you know, I don't have that many games in the Yamato, so I'm still sort of working out the, the gun leads and everything else like that uh, for those 18-inch guns. I didn't quite lead this guy far enough. He might be dead before I can get another salvo off. Yeah, he's gone. Alright, well, let's see here. Can I get to this guy? Nope, terrain's in the way. Oh, we got an Iowa here. And we've got the rune over there. Hmm. Well, let's have to see what I can actually see once my guns reload here. Goodness gracious, why does this not pay attention to where we're driving night? Who am I kidding? It's like that every night. <laughs> All right. Enemy 
All right, so we're not doing too bad. We're ahead on the ship count. Ah, clean misses there, bummer. But we're behind on number of caps, so that's going to be a problem. Let's see if I can get something on this gearing here before he disappears on me. Battleship AP at destroyers, yeah, this is something that a lot of people have issues with in the game. But hey, if it works, why not? Come on. Yeah, there we go. All right. Well, between me and our gearing, we're able to put that gearing down. All righty. We have another Yamato up there. And we a torpedo. Beautiful. Probably are getting a little over aggressive here. Let's go ahead and slow down for a minute. Hey, I got a citadel on that Montana. Well, I can bloody well tell it's on fire. All right. Well, the good news is we are definitely in the lead in terms of ships that we have on the on the map. So Yeah, if any of those actually hit, I'll be shocked, but hey, why not? All right. Oh, boy. Let's see if I can put another couple dings on that uh, Montana over there. Eh. Couple of pins, nothing major. Cheeky, cheeky little bastard shooting uh, HE at me. I guess he might as well, he figures. There we go. Looks like I'm overleading him just a little bit. Beautiful. See. Well, I think the torpedoes will probably finish him off, so I'll go ahead and save my 18 inch Lovin' for the uh, Montana in front of me. Yep, we're running out of targets. Uh-oh. Trying to be sneaky, are we, Mr. Destroyer? Let's see what my rear turret has to say about that.
I need to start turning in towards this guy or I'm going to start eating broadside citadels off of him. have somebody trying to ram me here. Wow. How do you like them apples? Ah. Save my body, destroy your friends. So, you know, it doesn't seem like I've done all that much for the team, but if you look, I've got 67k damage. <laughs> And that's something I've definitely found driving the Masashi around is that you just, the damage just starts accumulating and it's almost like you don't know where it comes from. And uh, so I, I'm kind of liking that about the ship. Because, you know, hits that might only do 1,000 damage or 1,200 damage in, say, in Iowa or in Montana, all of a sudden is doing three, four, five, six thousand 6,000 uh, damage with the Musashi because the shells are bigger, higher alpha, all, all that stuff. So lots of fun there. Now, the Yamato on the enemy team, last ship, throw the Reds on the map, and, well, may not get there before the game ends, because our, our ticket count is going up faster and faster at this point. Let's go ahead and put the scout play in the air, see if that helps. All right. I shot down the Montana's last uh, plane, the scout plane. That's kind of funny. All right, so at this point, got to avoid the island. Thank you. Let's not turn into the Titanic Mark II here. Yeesh. Now, depending on how much that enemy motto was backing up, Come on, draw in for me. There you go. Hmm. He's going the other way. Now, if I don't screw this up, I should actually get a decent salvo off on him before the rest of the team takes him out. I screwed it up. And that's game. So yeah, there we go. That is the Musashi. Now, that is by no means an outstanding game. As a matter of fact, I'm sure if you were to look at the Musashi's average damage, I'm probably <laughs> probably doing below average damage. Let's let's face it, I'm not that great in the Musashi. As I mentioned earlier, I, you know, it's a type of ship and a type of gameplay style that I'm still relatively new to. I, I do find, though, that with the powerful guns and the ample uh, HP, HP pool, excuse me, that the Masashi is a fairly forgiving ship. I, I, like I said, the, the damage, you know, 67k damage, that just seems to pile up without almost even trying. Um, eh, decidedly uh, second half, bottom half of the, the HP pool. Still not bad, 1,200 points, you know. I'll take it. Um, do it some decent damage, mostly against battleships. And uh, not a bad game, of course. You know, running premium time with uh, flags and everything else. Uh, still still not a bad payday uh, for a, a Tier 9 premium. Alrighty, well, uh, that'll about do it for this one. And until next time, good luck and good hunting. <laughs>